The Women's Irish Open returns to Drummond Castle for a second year with a stronger field and more spectators. As part of our partnership with Sports Direct, we went down to Drummond to preview the event with Aideen Walsh and Sarah Byrne. Now guys, we are here at Drummond Castle. We're doing a preview video, myself and Michael, with Sarah Byrne and Aideen Walsh. We're previewing the 2023 Women's Irish Open. Aideen played in it last year. Um, we're going to play a bit of a match, Michael. Yeah. So it's going to be myself, Sarah, against yourself and Aideen. So the teachers versus the pupils is what I've I've called this. Yeah, a little nine-hole match. See, here we go. Uh, to be fair, the, the girls are absolutely ripping the ball down. So I think, I think I'll be relying on my partner a lot, I reckon. I think we need to stop filming and actually do a bit of warm-up. How are you feeling, Sarah? Feeling pretty good, getting warmed up, ready to go. Michael's been talking a lot. He has been, he's trying to get in my head, he's figuring out ways that others golf that try and beat me, but he's not, he's found, hasn't found it yet, unfortunately for him. What's the uh, strength of your game for people that wouldn't know? Um, probably my driving, it's probably the biggest strength of, uh, of right now, so working cool. on that. Hey Dean, I don't know if we should be talking now, we're on opposite sides of the opposite aisle here. Opposite sides today, yeah. Uh, how are you feeling? Great. Yeah. Looking forward to, <laughs> looking forward to uh, te teaching us a lesson, are you? Yeah. <laughs> How's the, the game been? The banter has started already, so. <laughs> like I always say in these things, the winner, the real winner, is the person you can talk the most shit. There you go. So Michael's already got a head start. <laughs> Michael's doomed. He's doomed well so far. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real kind of thinking golf course. I think the the players gonna have to think about what they hit off certain tee, uh, tees um, and put themselves in a position then to, to attack pins. It's not just pull out a driver and bomb it and, and, and see where you end up. Um, there's definitely a lot of thought process into it. It is about the shots, is it? It's about the shots. This is very important. Yeah. Who's, who's getting what? I think that was a good decision that... Yeah. We what failed. did you say you... So uh, My Michael gets nine, I get three, and the two of you go to scratch. Scratch, yeah. Lovely stop. Can Head we just on back. camera get your handicaps again there real quick? Um, currently plus six. And plus two at the moment. All right, so just a, just a little bit of a gap between yeah. in, in quality here. <laughs> I'll First, show the way, will I? Show us the way. I just want to get your reaction to your 23 handicap partner's drive. I did it all. The minute he hit it, I knew it was good. I was like, whoa. Yeah. Very what? impressive. I'm glad he's not my team. Sarah, we're one down early here. We are. It's gone quiet already. Ah, look. <laughs> want to hear my mantra? No, what's your mantra? Go on. <laughs> you better down at the start than you are at the end, so you can leave them off at the beginning. Just giving them a bit of a head start. That's so. it. How are you feeling? Anything comfortable? Great. Great. I'm very happy with my partner. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah hammers a golf ball. She said it before the round, but in case there are any doubts, driving is just absolutely the strength of her game. She hammers the golf ball. We spoke to her before the Irish close, and we even said like one way that she can qualify for this event is just by winning the Irish close, and then she wins that, she's into the Women's Irish Open. From that round, you could see that she wasn't taking it that seriously, but yeah. when it came to like dialing in, she would have the chats and have a bit of crack with us. She'd slag me off, even though I was on her team. <laughs> yeah. But then about like 10 seconds before her shot, she'd dial in, which was really impressive. Like we've played with a good few, good few number of good players, but it's interesting to see like that caliber of players kind of go, yeah, yeah, we're having a bit of fun here. And then just dial in and go right another way. This is competitive. So it was very cool for, for us to chat to her beforehand and obviously for her to win the Irish Close. So she is going to be here now this week at the Women's Irish Open. So um, hopefully we'll get to see a bit more of that golf on display. Aideen's game, the way I describe it, she'd plot her way around the golf course. She's a good hitter, she's not a massive hitter, but 
I don't think she missed a single fairway. And she was very much fairway, middle of the green, one putt, two putt. And it's very consistent, like there's no drama to it. Yeah, she didn't put herself in trouble at all. She didn't go for things that, she, you know, those stupid things. And like from, obviously I was playing with her against you and Sarah, and that was great because I was all over the shop and she <laughs> kept going fairway green, fairway green and giving us a chance. So, and like obviously she knows Dramolin so well. I mean, you saw her play last year there as well, but she's, she's just where she practices out or she plays out of. So I think that that's got to be a huge advantage for her. She was just really special to be out playing. Like I never really thought I'd get to do anything like that, so. It was just unbelievable. And then the way it was run and like you, you saw it, it was just such a great week. Describe Mick's game. Um, he was after a flying start. Wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he, he didn't keep it to that level, but he's, he's doing all right. He's doing all right, a few good chip shots here and there. Keep me impressed. Keeping like, the mind games going, of huh. course, as well. <laughs> You're not happy. He's not no, happy. I'm fine, I'm fine, it's good. Yeah. She's a little she's, frazzled. She's, she's, she's a lot of smack talk I'm getting from, from Sam. She's just... And it's the thing, she's only, she's only saying like one one word and then made a noise. Yeah, and <laughs> uh-huh. That's it, that's all she had to say. Aideen though, I'm finding, is, is far more dangerous. She's saying nothing and, and pur purposely saying nothing. She's just falling out though, she's just... <laughs> she's letting us fight amongst ourselves and she's just going to take the win. The seventh hole, I think, is something that, that people are going to really love, especially when you're on the tee box, it frames the castle and the, the water um, and the green then, there's water all on your left hand side and then you need to hit a, you need to, depending on where the tee box is, you have to hit a really t tight pin, especially if it's, a, if it's at the front because it's going to be very close to the water. From, from the front line point of view, that's one of the kind of standout holes for me anyway. What do you think, somehow? This is absolutely, absolutely stunning hole. Uh, what do you think of the course so far? Love it, absolutely gorgeous. Tree lined all the way through. Uh, so anytime you're kind of offline again, you're in trouble. But uh, an amazing, amazing course. You guys are one up in the match. Obviously, yeah, I told you. Um, I have not been playing well. I think I, I had a great first hole and then it's been very poor kind of <laughs> after that. So I've been uh, leaning on my partner a lot. Don't worry, I've been right there with you, don't worry. Yeah. The bogeymen are living up to their name. <laughs> well, I am. Jeez, there's no, there's no argument there. Jesus, guys, thanks very much. Cheers. We're also well. I've learned to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs>so we're only a few weeks away now from the actual event it's going to be really really big it's going to be more fans more spectators they're looking for a stronger field dame laura davies is going to be in the field which is really really cool from an irish perspective having leona back in the mix she, like the crowds that were there around her on sunday were unbelievable and so to have an irish winner at an irish open would just be would be so much fun it would be such a good atmosphere like think about shane winning port Royal, yeah. shane winning the irish open rory oh, yeah. winning like Having those kind of moments for the women's game will be massive. I'm looking forward to seeing Anne Van Dam. Yeah. I think she's an absolute bomber. Like she smashes the ball, so I'm really looking forward to see what she does and how much she pulls driver and does she put herself in positions. Um, and then also Annabelle Dimmick as well. And I, I know last year she just missed out in the playoff, the the Women's Irish Open, and I think. You spoke to her as well, and she said something she really wants is is, is the Irish Open. She yeah. said she loved the atmosphere and how it played out. So I think if, if she if she hits some form and she really she gets she gets lucky, I think she she can have a really good week. For the win. <laughs> take that one away sir hey dean you can take that one as well pick it up guys well done on your win thanks thanks very much well played thank you aideen thanks thanks partner oh